Good morning, everybody. How are you? It is Thursday, September 2nd. I am super tired, but I'm awake. Anybody else woken up by that insane storm last night? At one point, I felt like just like yelling at the storm. I was like, I... Sorry, I'm trying to like figure out how to do all this. Um, yeah, the storm last night, I was like, calm down out there. Everybody chill out. Stop thundering and lightning. It was bad. Anyway, I've got my coffee. It's super fun. Mm. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to some morning coffee. I have a little bit of time before I have to get in a four mile run. <sighs> um, and then I have social psychology uh, this morning class. And then I have a ton of homework I have to do. Gross. Mm. I'm still doing the peaches and scream coffee from Bones Coffee Company my Starbucks mug. I can't turn it around. I can't. It'll just, I'll spill it everywhere. Anyway, so training for this half marathon has been interesting. Oh. Mm. Mm. I have blisters on my feet. One of my toes is turning purple. Not the whole thing. It's like a weird blister on my toe. And there's that and I'm exhausted and everything hurts, but um, I need to keep doing it every, you know, every week. Stick to the training schedule because if I don't, when October 9th comes around, I will be very, very miserable that I didn't stick with the program. So trying to stick with it. Oh my gosh. How's everybody doing this morning? Hello. Mm. Mm. I also decided to try to become like a plant mom or something. Um, I decided <laughs> for my birthday, I would like a fiddle leaf tree. I th fiddle leaf fig tree. I'll probably kill it, hopefully not. Um, and a snake plant, which I'm currently growing one now. Um, I'm not Actually, hold on, let me show you how things are going with this snake plant that I bought like a month ago and it's actually not dead, which I always kill plants. And so for this thing to be alive is kind of amazing. Hold up, let me go get it, wait. Okay guys. Okay, so this thing started out just this guy, right? And then when I got it home, this guy started growing out of it. And I could be wrong, but it looks like I have two different kinds of snake plants. Anyway, all I know is I think I have to transplant it. I don't know how to do that. I'm gonna look up online. I'm gonna try to not kill this poor thing because it has been like the right thing. So I'm trying to get all like the trendy house plants right now because I want to be cool and relevant. Hold on, where can I put that? I'll put my little plant right here. Well, hold on. <laughs> Coffee is the most important thing. Hold on. Plant. Nope, you're poking me. Get out of here. coffee but first coffee and also it is about pumpkin spice season is everybody excited for the pumpkin spice everything I am mm. oh my goodness this is so good anyway so yeah I'm gonna try to be a plant mom we'll see how it goes I've always killed all of the plants um, I <laughs> told my friends and family when, um, for the past two years, I'm like, I don't grow plants, I grow children. I kill plants and I grow 
children. So we'll see. Um, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, so yeah, so training for the Hartford Half Marathon is going well. And some people have donated to the Metavira fundraiser that I'm doing. So feel free to donate if you'd like. Even a dollar would be an amazing, it, it just please, like even if it's a dollar, click that donate button and be like, here's the dollar. It's, it helps because the great thing about Metavibra is 100% of your donations go to stage four breast cancer research, which is much needed anyway. Mm. Mm. I love when the coffee gets to the point where it's warm enough where you can hold the mug with your hand and you can take really big gulps of it but it's not so cold that it doesn't feel like coffee anymore. This is just, it's perfect. Oh. All right, question. How many of you are iced coffee fans? Um, I do love that we're going into the fall and cooler seasons. I am huge into hot drinks, hot coffees. I tried to get into iced coffee did not go well. Not a fan. I tried. It, yeah, it can't. So, and I have some friends. So, I will drink hot coffee in the middle of August when it's 109 degrees outside. I will drink that hot coffee. But, likewise, I have friends who will drink um, iced coffee in the middle of January when it's below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm still waking up. Um, I really appreciate all the support I've been getting um, on Facebook, on Instagram, on... Uh, <laughs> I'm working on like trying to utilize my social media accounts to help raise awareness about MetaViver. And um, I'm looking into Twitter, which makes me really nervous because I don't know if I could handle the Twitterverse. We'll see. I'm not sure if I know how to work it, but I was thinking the more people that know about it, that know about the upcoming half marathon and the fundraising I'm doing, the more exposure, the more funds we can all raise together um, towards this cause. So we'll see. If anybody on here knows about how to like work all of those things, let me know because at this point, we're doing a lot of wiki how, so, <laughs> which is good, but I have to also learn about microeconomics and ethics and abnormal psychology. So it's a lot of learning. Mm. Later today, I will post about um, what my feet are looking like. So you can see the reality of um, what it's like to train for a long distance run when, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and there's chafing. Like I forgot about that. Like when you run for long distances and if you're not super, super thin, and I'm super thin, but I'm, you know, I'm, I have meat on my body. Not that people who are thin don't have meat on their body. I just have, I have a little bit more meat than other people. So my arms and legs tend to chafe when I run for long times, extend periods, especially like right in here. Um, so I forgot that that was a thing. And I was like, oh no, I need to invest in Vaseline again. Excuse me. That's how you know you're like training for... Um, a half marathon or a marathon is when you start like slathering Vaseline like in on your arms because you're like yeah I'll be chafed right there if I don't so yeah it's it's really interesting <clears throat> some of the things you don't realize are gonna be a an issue or a thing that comes up when you're training for uh distance running like that so yeah, Vaseline. It's a girl's best friend. And somebody else too. Anybody who has skin that might like rub together while it's running. Vaseline. Ooh, ooh. You can get different like scented Vaselines too. 
So I'm just saying. I did order a new vest um, from Amazon. I ordered a new running vest because I noticed that all of the reflective um, material has worn off of my yellow vest. So I ordered a vest where I can apparently hold my phone right here and we shall see. I've tried like the phones on the arm for running and then the waistband and I, it's just when I'm running for a long time, it's it, that gets uncomfortable. So hopefully the one that fits right here will be good and comfortable and um, but I hope I get that vest soon because lots of running to do. Ugh. <laughs> oh, so much running. How about you guys? What are you guys having for coffee this morning? Starry books. I gotta wrap this up, guys. I've got stuff I gotta do. I've got class coming up. And I've gotta guess I gotta squeeze in a four miles easy. That says easy. Which means like, do I get to walk most of it? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Muy delicioso. Peaches and scream. I wouldn't get it again because it's a little weird. It's okay, but it was definitely interesting and worth the, the flavor. Also, is anybody planning any trips to any orchards anytime soon? Because we are coming upon apple picking and pumpkin picking season. Mm -mm. Just wondering. Also, also, I don't know if you noticed, but I have a big empty space there. I'm trying to like make my apartment a little bit more aesthetically like what I really want it to be. And so I had these beautiful, to this day, I couldn't tell if they were feathers or leaves. I don't know, there was three of them. I gave them to a friend who they were beautiful. They just didn't fit with my aesthetic anymore. And I'm not sure what to replace it with. What the heck was in my hair? What is that? Oh, lint. <laughs> so, but anyway, my long story short. Okay, I thought I got the lint. I didn't. Long story short, if anybody has suggestions of what I could put there. A piece of lint. Um, on my wall, I'm open to suggestions. I'm trying to stick with kind of like the aesthetic and design style of mid-century modern. Or, or um, scan, like mixing Scandinavian with mid-century modern. So that's something I Googled and I like it. <laughs> but also when you go to Walmart and Target and other stores, you can just Google mid-century modern and um, Scandinavian and those sections are just there. And sometimes I just need to like buy things that are grouped together. So I have an idea, it goes together. All right, I'm on my last, last couple sips. Mm. Okay, that was the last sip, the very end. I have to go. I'm very busy. I have a lot of things to do today, it, which actually I do. Oh, I don't want to run. I wonder if because of the flash floods, if there's going to be like rained out sections on my route today when I run. We'll see. All right, guys. I hope you have a good day today. I'm, I'm probably not wrong when I say most of us are exhausted and overtired from being kept up all night long during that storm. So it's okay, be gentle with yourself today and, and kind to yourself if you're tired. We're probably all really tired today. Take it easy and I hope you all have a good day. Take care of yourself, um, encourage yourself and I will see you again for another morning coffee later. Bye.